Hello and welcome to a new episode on the subject of microscopy. This is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to use a simple dissecting microscope. In previous episodes, I've covered thoroughly on how to use monocular and binocular compound bright field microscopes. Do check them out by clicking on the links in the description below. Next to the iconic hand lens that we're all familiar with, the dissecting microscope is one of the simplest and least sophisticated magnifying instruments with a modest magnification range and a simple mechanical construct. Extremely easy to use, versatile, and comes in quite handy in any typical high school biology lab. The stereoscopic binocular microscope is a more advanced modification of the simple dissecting microscope. I've covered on the use of the stereo microscope as well in a separate video. You can check out that video by clicking on the link in the description below. A typical simple dissecting microscope is essentially a single lens magnifying system consisting of a simple eyepiece either 10x or 15x made of a pair of convex lenses mounted on a foldable and extendable arm which is in turn fixed terminally onto a vertical stand or focusing limb. The height of this focusing limb can be controlled with a simple adjustment screw located on both sides of the body stand. The body stand also supports the stage of the microscope, which is made of clear, thick glass, and fitted with a pair of simple stage clips. The reflecting mirror located below the stage has both a plane and a concave mirror on either sides. The entire structure is supported on a heavy and sturdy base or foot. The microscope also comes with accessory stage plates to aid in specimen examination. As the name suggests, the simple dissecting microscope is primarily used to magnify tiny regions of an organism during its dissection. Thereby, it is used to aid in the dissection of smaller organisms and plant parts, although slight preparations of specimens that do not require highly magnified views can also be effectively examined. To use this microscope, first position the microscope on the working table at a safe distance from the edge of the table. Make sure that the mirror is able to receive bright or diffuse but not direct light, either natural or artificial light. Adjust the foldable arm such that the eyepiece lens is in line with the mirror below and roughly with the center of the glass stage. Now, if the specimen is of a transparent nature and you want to use transmitted light to view it, simply place the specimen right beneath the eye lens. Using the adjustment screw, lower the lens to its maximum or until it almost touches the specimen surface. Then look through the lens and gradually lift it up using the screw until the specimen comes into clear focus observe and study. If the specimen is of an opaque nature and you need to do a surface examination using reflected or scattered light, then all you need to do is to insert the accessory stage plate beneath the glass stage. Either the black or the white side of the plate can be used depending on what color background you need during the examination. Adjust the height of the eyepiece using the adjustment screws to get the specimen in focus. Accessory side plates can also be installed to extend the area of the stage. Side plates come in handy when you're dealing with larger or longer specimens, for instance a dissected earthworm. The foldable arm can be extended to any region of the specimen for further examination without the need to constantly move the specimen around the stage. So this was a quick walkthrough tutorial on the proper use of a simple dissecting microscope. If you found this video helpful, do show your support for what I am doing by considering subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications to stay tuned for more such content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.